Now I'm in the process of putting the parts together. I always recommend when you assemble one part of the car, check if the mechanisms of the affected components work properly. So now I've assembled this part here and inside there is a steering mechanism with the servo motor and I need to check if it's working. So it's now connected to the controls. I'm turning on the electronic speed controller and um, turning on the remote control and need to check if it works. And now after confirming that it works, I can continue assembling other parts of the car. Now the second part is mounted on the car and with a few screws keeping it in its place before you put all the screws back you need again to check if all axles of all mechanisms are rotating freely because sometimes you may put a wrong screw and squeeze something that would not allow the mechanisms to rotate freely so we're checking it again by connecting the cables to the electric motors turning on the electronic speed controller and checking by accelerating if the axles are rotating freely and we can see that they are rotating and if we check the steering mechanism it should be working also fine and all together It all works fine, so we can continue putting all screws back. Finally, I installed the third part in the middle and was able to pass the cables via the space I have here, so I didn't have to make any holes in any of the plastic parts. Now I need to think of how to fasten this electronic speed controller here with the receiver, which should be an easy thing to do, and we're ready to go. Finally, after thinking how to put all these components together on the surface, the final setup would be this one. I see that this electronic speed controller fits well in here, it doesn't even move. And this receiver here fits well into the space here. So I will finally apply some silicon around here and silicon around this speed controller so that they are fixed in place. And this way I have here some space where I could put different batteries with different shapes. For example, this one would fit here. And as usually, I would fasten these batteries to the car with Velcro straps, like this one, wrapping them around. Or if you have another shape with the battery, you can put it here as well. So for me, this design would work. Of course, if you have another car, you would have to think how to put all those components in a different manner. Now let's try to connect two different batteries. I would like to see if there's any difference in the way the mechanisms would work after we connect them to different batteries. Now I have this car connected to 7.4 volt battery and then I will connect it to 11.1 volt battery. The main idea was to upgrade the power of the car and see if there will be any difference at least on the way the mechanism work how the axles are rotating can we feel the power or not by just listening to how it works and in the end will the electric motors burn right now or will they burn after we use this car with this battery for a long time so let's try with 7.4 battery here. I'm turning it on. And let's accelerate it to the maximum level. This is the sound we hear now. One more time. Now let's connect it to a more powerful battery and see if the sound changes, if we can feel that the axles are rotating with a higher speed. Now I have connected this car to a 
one volt battery. And let's turn it on. And let's try to accelerate. I just pressed the accelerator a little bit, but I think I can already hear the same level of sound or noise that comes out of the mechanism. Let's accelerate it to the end. Yeah, I think it, you can feel that the acceleration is much higher now. One more time. And definitely I can feel the difference. It makes much more noise and it looks like it's rotating much more faster now so now i'll put the wheels on put the body of the car on like this apply some silicon around the components and we'll try it outside